We're still waiting on some bigger information to drop after the media test happened recently for Throne and Liberty in Korea. And there's been a bit of a debate raging while we're waiting for that information about the combat. And I think tab target is fairly likely, but there's a debate raging around how much root motion or how much animation locking there is in place for the skills. And in this post that this poster claims comes from leaked tester information, which I am skeptical of. I'm always skeptical of all these leaks that are coming out recently. He's saying that most skills root you in place, including melee skills. One reason that I'm very skeptical of this is because the information he is using is not like new skills that we've seen, but it's coming from a few of the skills that we've actually seen in the gameplay trailers and we know there's a lot of skills we haven't seen yet for instance we've seen the two-hand sword whirlwind we've seen the dual wield double dagger ability that teleports and we've seen the bow backdrop skill so i think he just went through the trailers like everybody else did and like i've done many times and i'm about to do again for you guys and just pointed these things out and came to the conclusion that everything is locked and you can't move however there is decent evidence maybe he's right but we don't know and it's all speculative and I'm speculating just like everybody else is. So this first video is that Greatsword Whirlwind and I have it slowed down to quarter speed because they always are like two second clips. And again you can see a ranged ability now here that is rooted in place. It appears or maybe the player just stopped and casted. We don't know. This is just from the discord but you can see a melee player using what appears to be just a very basic almost like a number one skill in Guild Wars 2 type ability while moving. And same here, you can see a melee attack being performed, but it doesn't appear to be like an advanced attack. It seems to be kind of a basic attack while moving. Here you see again, you see stopping and casting. And I've yet to find a ranged ability that has movement other than like that poster said, the longbow where you do the jump backwards. This is the dagger ghost step ability, which seems to just have movement built into it, a teleport shadow step ability built into it. Again, everything slowed way down for you guys to see it. Here, this is a pretty good demonstration. You can see all the ranged players just standing in one spot and casting. Was that done for effect? Or is that how the combat is? We don't know. And that's really it, guys. I just kind of wanted to run through those real quick with you guys and, and see what you guys think. We don't know. Hopefully, we get clarification on this. This is one of the big things I'd like to get clarification on. Personally, I don't like a tremendous amount of rooting in combat like that and animation locking like New World has, like Terra had, and we've seen in a few games. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I guess it can work in like single player games like a Dark Souls type of game, but in MMOs, I don't think it's the best idea so hopefully that's not what it is but hopefully we'll find out soon uh, if you guys like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one